Number 20, looking at the horizontal and vertical asymptote. Horizontal, we always use the expression Bobo, Botten, eats DC. If it's bigger on bottom, it's going to be Y is zero. If it's bigger on top, it's going to be none. If exponents are the same, we're going to divide the coefficients. This guy, well, it's one on top, two on the bottom. It's bigger on the bottom. We're going to use this. That means there is one at the line Y equals. Don't say zero. It's at the line Y equals zero. It's a line. It's got to say Y equals. Vertical. <clears throat> Vertical is like, oh, what happened, Mr. Penn? It's like that. Vertical is always going to be X equals something. Well, in this case, we always look at the denominator. We always set it equal to zero because we can't have it be zero. So we got to draw lines at that location. Notice that this factors to an X plus three, X minus three. It's a difference of squares. So you said, let's do it. Set it equal to zero. Set equal to zero. You're going to get negative three here and you're going to get positive three there. So there's going to be two. There's going to be one at negative three and another one at positive three for your vertical asymptotes. So you would write that and that. Finally, we want to look at this guy and say, hey, is there a hole here or a slant? Okay, it's possible to be both, but for you and me, it's not going to be. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to see, does the top factor? It does. X plus three times an X plus four over X plus three. These are going to cancel. This guy is nothing more than the simple line Y equals X plus four. That's all it is. However, remember there's the restriction. X cannot be what value? Negative three. We can't let it be negative three. So there's going to be a hole at X being negative three. There's going to be a hole there. So if you have the graph, and here's negative three, and let's say this line, well, we do know it has a y-intercept at four, and then slope of one, so it's going like this. When you get to that negative three value, it's going to be an open circle. There's going to be a hole there. Now, but slant occurs when the top is one degree more than the bottom, and that's true here. However, this guy crossed out and became nothing but that simple line. So there is no slant because things crossed out and left us with just the line X plus four.